Morning, everybody. It's Andy Combo Floyd. Oh, it's just a little before 10 a.m. here on the farm, and we are having a gorgeous day. Here, I'll show you. If it doesn't help to just tell you I'm in a sweatshirt, which is pretty exciting. And while we're on this view, let me show you this beautiful little piece of paper right here. That stack of paper is the new novel, Charlotte and the Twelve. I just printed it out this morning. Um, and this is why I was coming to you today, was to tell you why I print out my drafts, even though I try to be as environmentally conscious as I can, I still print them. And I do that for a couple reasons. One, I find it actually easier to make good, particularly um, substantial revisions on paper because I can flip around, I can use the back of the sheet, I can draw arrows, and I don't lose track as easily as I do in Word because I, I um, draft in Word. Now, uh, many of you guys might use Scrivener, and if you do, my understanding, I am not a Scrivener user, um, is that it's easier to do some revision and move big chunks around without losing track of things in there. So that, that piece may be a moot point for you, absolutely. The other reason, actually there's two reasons now that I think about it for why I print out my drafts to revise. The first is just a practical one. Now I have, without a doubt, a copy of my novel. So if all of my systems, including my two backups, fail for my files, I still at least could recreate the book using this paper. So that's that's the second reason. But the third reason, and, it, and maybe this is the most important one, is that when I write by hand or revise by hand, it is much easier, uh, it, easier is maybe not the right word, it is a different process for me to revise with a pen than it is to revise on the computer. And it puts me in a different headspace than the one I was in when I was writing. So it, it's just a practical shift in perspective that really, really helps me when I am revising a, a, a book. And in particular, something substantial in length, it, it really is helpful to me to, to do it on paper. So that's why I print out everything to revise. Um, I, I also keep these copies, like I said, as a backup. So it, I tend to mark them up pretty mightily and then I file them. Um, so I'm not even able to recycle the paper. So there is an environmental consequence, um, which isn't awesome, but hopefully it helps me from printing a whole bunch of copies of a book that isn't that good. So in that sense, maybe it is more green in that way. So that's how I revise, and that's how I do major revisions. When, I'm doing, when I get to the editing stage, excuse me, <coughs> just doing small edits, I do them on the computer. But for this kind of level of revision, I do it on paper. So tell me in the comments, if you would, how you revise. I'd love to hear. I'm over at andylit.com. Hope you guys have a great day.